as a Mormon, forgiveness in my mind and from what I'd been taught was a process. It, it was there were seven steps to forgiveness to receive God's forgiveness for us. And uh, I don't remember all the seven steps, but, you know, repentance, turn, turning from that, not doing it anymore, uh, making restitution, if possible, to, uh, to the person or persons that you had of, offended. And there were several other requirements, including from that point on, you, you don't return to that sin. If you, if you sin again, then the, the penalty for all the other sins that, that you've committed in the past are now piled back on you. And I didn't think that was good news at all. It, it was depressing. I, I read uh, the uh, President Spencer W. Kimball's book, The Miracle of Forgiveness. And even as a Mormon, after reading that, I thought, this doesn't sound like a miracle at all. It's a miracle that any of us can get forgiveness. Now I see that forgiveness is not really that complicated. It's, it's serious. It's sobering. But it's God's gift to us was already paid. That is forgiveness. It's not a process. It's not something that we have to, to beg for and plead for every day. And, oh, my goodness, I... I you didn't go to church today. Oh my Lord, please forgive me. Or, or I burned the pot roast and I did it on purpose because I was mad at my husband. Uh, no, I never did that. But uh, you know, please forgive me. That is not what forgiveness is. It's a done deal. Penalty already paid. You ask for God's forgiveness. It's there. He offers that forgiveness, and He offers it through what Jesus did on the cross. That does it all. That penalty, that price was already paid.